Hey guys, Shukesh here and you are watching the second episode of the awesome tips and tricks on this really value for money Samsung Galaxy Tab S7. Now let's start where I left off here in the camera application. If you click on more than Bixby Vision, there are some mind blowing unique features. Uh, I have already shown you how you can live translate using the camera in the first episode of this tips and tricks videos. That was really cool. And another awesome feature I really like here is describer, which basically describes what you have in the camera the viewfinder. For example, let's try this windmill and there you go a windmill in a clear blue sky so you get a text as well as a voice description of the scene cool there is also an object identifier text reader color detector let me try the color first if you have some kind of color blindness or if you are not just sure what sky color blue. is this maybe buying a sky shirt blue. then you can try this sky and blue. be sure Whatever color Sky you blue. have in the small box will Black. be read out Black. and uh, Sky blue. Let White. me try this. And, uh, Sky blue. Awesome. Blue. If you are blue. always color confused Black. like me, then Black. this can be a lifesaver. White. 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 Blue. Silver. White. Let me White. try the next one, which is the text reader. Let's see how good is this. Can it read the small text here on the packaging? An original or Oriaco Kalati sandwich biscuit soon free and CGB 2 OK Cal suggest ducking in me. Allergen information contains may contain milk point five odiumate asterisk approximate ninety eight to lose ten cat bar your original or Oriaco Kalati sandwich can see, biscuits. Guys, it's too good. Let me now try the next one which is object identifier. Let's start with this. Parcel. Well, parcel. Parcel. it's identified parcel. as a parcel. parcel. It Tropic could have taken bird. help from the text. Tropic bird. Wrong once again. Tropic this bird. is what a tropic bird tropic looks bird. like. It's quite close actually. Tropic bird. Let's try the S pen. Razor. Razor. It has been razor. identified as a razor. razor. So razor. maybe object identifier razor. is not as razor. good. Uh, maybe it razor. will work fine. Maybe a pair of shoes, your ceiling fan, a tree, a pet. Uh, it's not that much reliable or it's not that much advanced, I should say. Uh, there is also Amazon Shopping, Picture Search Integrated and also there is a wine scanner which will show more info about the wine you have, like the year it was made. So some really smart features you have on the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7. There is also this augmented reality zone where you can create your own air emoji stickers. There are some Snapchat like filters you can try and have fun. I like this air doodle thing which can actually follow your head or face and uh, you can draw something like this on your face. There is an air emoji studio. You can download stickers, emojis, you can try new clothes. It's a whole new world of AR and digital U. Guys, this pen-shaped S Pen is much more economic compared to the one you get with the Note series and uh, the good thing is Tab S7 gets almost all the premium S Pen features from the flagship Note 20 Ultra which is exactly double the price. Like with a flick motion like this, you can go back the pen can act as a wireless remote with inbuilt Bluetooth and gyro sensor. You can also go to the home screen with a flick motion like this. And of course, for the app switcher, we get this motion on the right. All these gestures are customizable, of course. There you go. Now, there is also this reverse motion of the home, uh, which I have set to smart select. There is also another one zigzag motion and of course all these gestures works while you tap and hold the S Pen button. I have set it to camera. So this is how you can remotely access your Galaxy Tab S7 and not only that in the applications as well this uh, magic one can be used to access in-app features like with a switch motion upwards or downwards you can switch the cameras. There is also another gesture with a clockwise motion. You can zoom in and to zoom out, of course, anti-clockwise motion. 
to switch in between camera modes that is from photo to video you can do uh, right or left switch that is how you can remotely control the camera if the tablet is on a dock or maybe on a tripod and not only on the camera but also a lot of other uh, system as well as third party applications support this kind of S Pen gestures like here on the gallery you can switch in between different media by a right or left switch and of course you can pause or play videos with a single tap this also works on the camera that is you can take photos with a tap on the S Pen button what is most useful here so is the volume control that is uh, maybe you are watching a video from a distance uh, then you can increase or lower the volume with an upwards or downwards motion of the S Pen. In the photos with downwards or upwards motion you can check uh, details of the photo. So how to enable and customize this S Pen feature which is called Air Actions. Well go to advanced features then S Pen there you get Air Actions. Now these are the gestures that are preloaded. You can assign a certain set of uh, features and apps. Uh, there are a couple of S Pen features that are listed here. You can choose any of these or any application you have downloaded into your tab S7. Now these are the apps that natively support S Pen Air Actions. You can click on any of these to know more. Now Air Actions can also perform this task when there is no app running on the screen like you can launch the camera with a long press on the S Pen button. If any music is playing in the background you can uh, increase or decrease the volume with upwards or downwards motion and also a single tap will play or pause and with a double tap you can skip. Also you can get the air command with hovering the S Pen and tapping on the button. To get the Samsung notes anywhere anytime just tap and hold the S Pen button and double tap on the screen. Now what I will show you now is the most useful. You can use the S Pen to even unlock your tab even when there is a password. For the first time you have to input the password. Now the device knows the actual owner is holding the S Pen. Next time if you just single tap on the S Pen button the tab will open without asking for the password even if you have set face unlock. So the S Pen is more versatile than you think. You won't even have to or want to touch the screen with your finger. When you tap any text input area with the S Pen, you get the handwriting window. So no need to switch in between normal or handwriting keyboard and no need to say the handwriting recognition of S Pen is just too good. If you tap with your finger, you get the normal QRT keyboard. Honestly, I feel much more comfortable writing with this S Pen compared to the one I get with my Note 20 Ultra. There you have the pen detection option I have just shown you. Here from the S Pen settings under advanced features, you can enable this S Pen unlock option I have shown you before. What makes the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 much more desirable is this 120Hz refresh rate display and it's Samsung's VR that is variable refresh rate display with adaptive option which basically changes the refresh rate depending on what you have on screen like in gaming you get full 120Hz but when you are movie streaming it goes down to 60Hz, emails uh, goes down to 30Hz and viewing still images or browsing social media takes it down to 10 hertz this is basically to uh, save battery up to 22 percent guys in the display settings under home screen there is this hide apps option that is you can hide any installed application uh, just like so these apps won't show up on the home screen or even in the apps drawer but if you search for these apps you can access or open these apps so no need to even unhide these apps just search the home screen settings can also be accessed by pinching on the home panel and also from the apps drawer menu. Guys, I will now show you a software or a feature that is called Daily Board which is developed keeping this Samsung Tab form factor in mind. So when it's charging, when it's on a dock, you can get a slideshow, weather, time, memo, music and smart things which is to control smart appliances in your home. 
so let me show you the charger has been connected so here on the notification panel you will get daily board click here and first you get this note taking option you can take a note right away maybe draw something play a game and if you swipe right or left you get other options like the clock looks great you get the lock screen with a picture animation like this and uh, the rightmost panel is for smart things to control your uh, smart appliances like AC, uh, TV, fridge, microwave or even your washing machine. You can check the progress and control them sitting on your desk with your tab on a dock. Guys, the dark mode in the display settings surely helps in reading, uh, especially emails or web browsing because the background is dark but uh, in some applications uh, the dark mode is not applicable mostly on third party applications so for long reading like an ebook or a pdf uh, the white bright background may be stressful for your eyes so what you can do is you can invert the color and i have a trick for you so you can invert with a single tap just tap the power key which is now the side key and the volume up buttons simultaneously and the screen is inverted now reading text is much more easy now before I show you how I have activated this feature, I can also tap and hold the volume up and down buttons simultaneously for 3 seconds for speech to text converter. So there you go, it has been activated and there is now a small guy here at the bottom right corner. If I tap here, the transcription feature opens. Hi there. So welcome back to Gadgets Portal and today I'm going to review the new Samsung Galaxy Tab S7. This feature is primarily focused for people having hearing issues but of course you can use it to maybe take a note uh, to write down anything and uh, a lot of native languages are supported. Well, while the charger is connected, the daily board icon shows up here on the navigation bar and you can switch to daily board anytime. Now visit the settings menu and look for the option accessibility here at the bottom. Then advanced settings. The first option is for the color inversion. You can of course enable any other accessibility features like a voice assistant magnifier window which will actually show a magnifier window here on the screen just like so. The second option is for volume button up and down key and I have enabled live transcribe but you can go for universal switch or voice assistant. Another accessibility feature that might be useful for some of you guys you can amplify surround sound that is your tab may work as a hearing aid just connect the earphones and the tab will record the ambient sound and amplify that into your headphone another brilliant samsung feature i personally love is adapt sound which basically uh, customizes your headphones in accordance with your hearing capabilities you can customize it uh, you will hear a series of beeps you have to answer whether you can hear those or not and i am telling you guys after you have set this adapt sound uh, your headphone quality will improve drastically there are also two sound detectors, baby crying detector and doorbell detector. If you have hearing issues, these might be quite useful. Now the next feature I'm going to show you is also available for smartphones but I think it's uh, mostly made for tabs like this with big displays. Uh, it's called assistant menu and I have also enabled assistant plus. I will come to that later so you get this frequently used actions or features like uh, you get the navigation bar. You can turn off the screen, change the volume, take a screenshot and if you enable assistant plus for certain apps you get contextual options like here in the dialer I get recent call log, act to contact and for different apps the assistant menu will be different. So why is this useful for this tab S7? Well you need both of your hands to hold this big device and with assistant menu you can access this just with your right hand thumb 
no need to transfer the tab to your other hand and uh, access these options you get all of this just under your thumb without even extending your fingers so this is something i find quite handy guys another favorite feature of mine is the pop-up notification icon so instead of getting the notifications in the notification center I can enable this kind of pop-ups and I can click it to check the notification like emails or whatsapp messages and uh, even it can be made transparent so that I can do whatever I was doing and also multitask at the same time like send messages right away the big 11 inch display really helps here and also the screen can be split vertically into two multitasking on this big device is surely not an issue you can uh, chat with anybody and also play a game at the same time just like so to activate this feature open the settings menu then uh, advanced features there you get smart pop-up view you can choose any app you have installed now another way to split screen and multitask is from the app switcher uh, you will get this option here so click and first you will get a pop-up window which is floating and if you tap on the home button it will uh, convert into an icon but you can also screen split in vertical guys i have the tab s7 wi-fi model only so i cannot make calls that is i cannot insert a sim card but there is an option call and text on other devices so if i log into my other samsung device with the same samsung account number then i can use that sim card to make calls receive calls and also use text messaging services As you can see guys it's working just fine I have just received a call I can answer and talk on speaker or on the earphones the last topic I have today is Samsung DeX which is like the perfect interface for this big tablet uh, with this 11 inch screen you can get desktop or laptop like experience with the official Samsung keyboard for this tab S7 maybe it can replace your work laptop if you are going on a tour uh, no need to carry your laptop anymore this tab S7 will provide a PC like feel and usability you can enhance your productivity just like so uh, there you have all the apps the frequently used apps are here on the dock and no need to mention when you got an S Pen like this there might be no need for a mouse of course you can connect a mouse and also a third-party keyboard and I found that a lot of web pages are not perfectly optimized for this big display but in the DeX mode they are almost perfectly compatible guys this is the end of episode 2 and to be honest i have more than 100 plus tips and tricks noted down on this tablet so if this video gets enough views i will upload a third episode so let me know in the comment if you liked this video and you are watching now the first episode where i've shown you the samsung notes and the voice over settings which is like the best feature on this tab the link will be in the description that's all in this video thanks a lot for watching this is shukesh signing off